The next hat is an army hat, and my father wore that as a part of his regular army uniform when he was on duty along the Mexican border. In 1916, uh, Dad was stationed there at Fort Bliss, El Paso, Texas, down along the Mexican border to guard against uh, Pancho Villa coming across the border and raiding the villages along the border. President Wilson, who was a president at that time, permitted the sale of machine guns, ammunition, artillery, and uh, dynamite, as well as uh, food across the border for Pancho Villa's troops. President Wilson permitted this because Pancho Villa, along with other revolutionaries in Mexico, were fighting against the Mexican dictator Porfirio Diaz. Uh, but Pancho Villa stopped a train down in Mexico that had American mining engineers that were passengers that had mistreated some of the Mexican miners in the mining operation down there. So Pancho Villa had them get off the train and then simply mowed them down with the Colt 30 caliber water cooled machine guns that Wilson had permitted to sell Pancho Villa. His uh, execution of the American mining engineers prompted President Wilson to declare Pancho Villa an outlaw and to stop the sale of ammunition and particularly dynamite food and uh, transfer of money and so forth down to him. But, uh, Pancho Villa was not to be discouraged. He actually came across on a famous raid on the little town of um, Columbus, New Mexico, even though there were infantry troops stationed there, and he overwhelmed them and killed some of the citizens, robbed the bank, and uh, got back across the border to safety. Uh, my father had uh, joined Company M of the Pennsylvania National Guard. He was a part of the 16th Rifle Regiment. And he joined that in 1912. President Wilson federalized all of the National Guard units of every state and ordered them down to the Mexican border. Uh, my father was sent down to uh, El Paso, Texas, uh, along with other National Guard units down along the Mexican border to guard the border against Pancho Villa. These uh, federalized National Guard Units were all under the command of General Blackjack Pershing, and uh, he commanded uh, all these National Guard units from the Atlantic coast all the way over to the Pacific coast. This uh, military uh, hat here with a, with a broad brim was part of uh, my father's uniform that he wore down there at El Paso, Texas, and the blue cord and tassel indicates that he was a infantryman. I have a picture of Dad in his uh, uniform as a sergeant of the guard down there, standing behind a rack of 1903 Springfield rifles. And if you'll notice, it shows him with his model 1903 Colt automatic 45 caliber pistol in the holster tied down around his right thigh. Of course, you had to have it tied down so he grabbed the butt handle of the pistol, pull it out, and take a shot at anybody <laughs> in the style of the old gunfighters. He's posed there with his arms crossed, and much the style that Clint Eastwood adopted in his spaghetti westerns <laughs> that he's famous for.